Hello and welcome back to my channel, uh, Dave How To. Today I'm going to uh, show you how to work an uh, air compressor tank. This one here is a Husky, okay? Uh, it's a six gallon and it's oil free. It's an oil free compressor, okay? And uh, let's walk around the tank here, as you can see. It's in the bottom here, you have a little valve to release the air from inside the tank. So after you fill it up and you're done, you just unscrew that a little bit and the air comes out of the tank, okay? Okay, these two gauges right here, this tells you how much air is in the tank, okay? It'll tell you the pressure of the tank. And this here is for when you plug in your uh, hose and gun, okay? You can adjust the amount of pressure going out. Okay, so this right here is your on and off switch. Okay, and uh, that's it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on. It's gonna be really loud, so I'm not gonna have it, um, uh, you know, I'm gonna have you uh, listen to this tank fill up. Uh, me, I'm just gonna leave the room. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna turn her on and I will let you hear what it sounds like when it goes on. Now, I purposely left, I purposely left this open right here, so you can see how the air comes out. Now, to, uh, to have it working, you have to tighten this little knob right here. Now the air is not going to come out, and the tank will fill in. So always, right here, this is your switch for the valve that controls the air coming out of the tank after you're done, okay? But it has to be tightened if you want to use it so the air does not come out, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to uh, fill this up, as you can see. Right now, it's on zero, okay? I'm going to turn this baby on, uh, and I'll come back in about four minutes or so. Okay, so it, it only takes about maybe a um, couple of minutes to uh, load up. And as you can see right now, that's how much pressure is in the tank. And it, sh it automatically shuts off when there's enough pressure in the tank. Okay. Right there. A little over 120 PSI. Okay. I, uh, I, I shut it off for now because um, as we uh, go on uh, and we start using it, it'll uh, basically uh, come on and make a lot of noise. So... Let's kind of shut it off for now but anyways that's what you're looking at there and right now as you can see this valve is on zero so we have to adjust that when we put on the uh, hose which fits in here now it's gonna be a bit of a task getting this in uh, with one hand it's not easy so I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment here and uh, so you can see how I put that on Okay, so I'm going to show you how to attach the hose in here, but uh, as you can see right here, this is what the valve looks like when it keeps the air from coming out. And you, get a, you screw it in this way, closer to here, to let the air out. I'll show you that at the end. Okay, now the table is a little wobbly here, but you basically pull this back here, shove this in, and that's it. She's attached. Just like that. Okay. And uh, so these are the nailer guns I'll be uh, demonstrating with. Okay. Now, each nailer gun has its instructions as to how much pressure it needs. So this one here, it needs a minimum of 60 pounds of pressure per square inch to maximum 100 pounds of pressure per square inch. And what that means is, I don't want it to sound too complicated, is this dial right here, when I start turning it, it'll put the pressure to what the nail gun says. So if it says 60 pounds of pressure it needs to push the nail or stapler through the wood, you just dial this, and as you can see on the dial, it has different numbers. 
And as you turn this, uh, this dial here, this one right here, it'll go up. And when you see the needle hit 60, you stop turning this knob. I'll show you in a second. And it'll have enough pressure for the gun to shoot into the wood. Okay? And it also tells you what gauge uh, nails it takes or staples. So this one here, by the way, takes both nails and staples. Okay? So this one takes 18 gauge uh, nails and this also uh, staples and this one also takes 18 gauge uh, nails and this one here takes 16 gauge nails okay uh, this one right here you can uh, put the nails and staples from three-eighths of an inch to uh, an inch and a quarter this one three-eighths of an inch to two inches of nails and this one here one inch all the way to two and a half inches of nails uh, can go in and that's what we're going to be working with okay so before you start uh, using your uh, gun you should always put a couple of drops of oil in the reservoir here okay they all have one where that's where the air compressor hose goes in right there and here okay I've already done it so that's why I didn't drop any right now but I put a drop in each one uh, earlier okay and this right here on this particular gun whoop, lever I opened and you would put the nails in here at least it's three eighths okay it slides right in here okay uh, and uh, this one here goes up to one inch so you can put them all the way up to one inch of uh, nails in here as well too. And you pop her in, it gets nice and snug in there, and it's locked in. Okay, this is another 18 inch gauge one there. This one here has a mechanism right here to open it up. I want to make sure I don't drop anything again. Okay, so it slides out. You put your nails in here like this. I already did that. And, and it locks in. Okay. And this one here is a little bit different. Okay, you put this lever down, pull this out, it locks, and the nails, you slide it in the back here, okay, let it fall in. And I can just pop this lever right here and it slams in, but I don't let it slam in, I just let it go in, and now it's nice and snug. So we're all good. So we're all ready to go with the, uh, with the guns, they're all prepped, the nails are in. So let me set up here and uh, don't forget, anytime you're using any of these things, please, you gotta use <laughs> some goggles, some eye safety. Because uh, sometimes freaky things happen when you don't expect it, especially when you're tired, okay? So now we're gonna attach the hose to the gun. Uh, right now I have it unplugged, okay? So to attach the hose to the gun, we just pull this lever down, shove this in, and now it's attached, okay? Now nothing is gonna happen because there's no air pressure right now. Uh, and also the safe, this is a safety right here. So for example, let me take this off. Okay, it's off again, the hose. Put it around here for a sec. For this to work, this piece right here the nail comes out here, this piece right here has to be depressed, like that. And then you can pop it, okay? So I got some scrap pieces of wood here we're gonna work with. Uh, this one here has the uh, one inch uh, uh, nail in it, okay? And uh, as I said, you push down and that's the only way it'll, that's your safety right there. The only way that this will actually fire when it's hooked in. I don't have the pressure up yet, I'll show you that in a second. So anyways, this is your safety. All of them have a safety on them. Okay. This one has a safety right here too, as you can see. Okay. It has to be pushed down for that to actually fire. Okay. Um, this is where your exhaust is right here. See your exhaust. 
That's, uh, you can adjust it to where you want the exhaust. So when it fires and shoots out air, you don't want it blowing in your face. So you can adjust that to whatever angle you want. Okay. So that's how that's done. So as I mentioned before, each gun tells you the minimum uh, PSI and the maximum PSI for this to actually work. So it basically how much pressure it needs to shoot the nail into the uh, the wood or object that you're uh, shooting into. Okay, so to get that, here's where you would make the adjustment. So this tells me how much pressure is in the tank. Now I want to get how much pressure I want going into the gun. Okay, so to do that, here's a valve, and you start turning it. And as you can see, it's going up. This is how much pressure I want going into the gun. It says minimum 60. I think basically put it somewhere around 90 and you're good. Okay, let's slip down a bit there. Turn that nubby. Okay. All right. Turn that to the right and it goes up. Uh, we can probably get away with that. A little under 90 okay but the maximum for this particular gun is a hundred okay uh, pounds uh, per square inch okay so we have that all set so now there the pressure in the hose is uh, ready okay and we're gonna attach the gun and show you a, a sample so we're almost ready almost ready now there's pressure in the hose. Let's pull this down like so. And we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. So this has a one inch nail. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is put the old eye goggles on. How do I look? I always put the eye goggles on. It's pretty safe, but you don't want to be a victim of a freaky accident. Okay. So my oil is in, and this one right here, let's take this piece off here, push in, and done. It's in there, it's attached. Now these things here, is to work with, you have to work it with like glue, because just, just the nails alone, over a period of time, you can actually pull them out over a period of time, so. But anyways, the press, push just like that this will tell me now you see the head of the nail is out a little bit okay that means I if I dial up the pressure it'll go in a little bit more so if I put it to 100 it'll go in now I don't want to turn this thing on right now but done that's in there okay and one more for the road. And then, okay. So, again, the only way, if I, if I squeeze this, nothing's gonna happen until this here is depressed in, like that. Done, all good, okay. This one here, I think I lifted up a little bit, uh, but uh, there's enough pressure in here. Okay then, and now you can take this off, okay. Now it's totally safe. Okay, and I'll show you the other one now. Okay, so actually the last one was an inch and a quarter. This one here is the one inch nail gun. Pop it in there. You hear a little whisper of air, I don't know if you can hear that. It's uh, loose here because this here needs to be tightened. This piece here needs to be tightened onto the gun but it's enough pressure to put the uh, nail screw. So let's do this. Okay. Oh. Don't get scared, it's just a little bit of air. Okay, done. We're all locked in. And the press is point. Just like that. Okay, and they're in there. Let's pop that out. And let's go to the uh, Two inch, okay, pop that in there, 
the press. All right. Okay, and one more. Boink. Okay. This one's a little bit. This one's a little bit more powerful. <laughs> okay, and one more. Boink. And pull back, and it's done. And it's all safe again. Okay. Nothing's coming out. I'm not gonna do anything. I might get a freaky accident. But anyways, it's all done. So I, I hope that you can um, see how that uh, works there. Uh, I hope it helps you. Um, uh, please like and subscribe, and um, I will do uh, um, an episode just only on the guns itself. Uh, I think I need to do that. So look forward to that in the future. And um, I'm just going to set up and I want to show you how to release the air from the tank. Okay, so we're going to take the uh, air out of the tank here. So uh, as you can see, there's still uh, about 119 uh, pounds of uh, pressure per square inch in the tank, which is right here. And I have this here dialed for 90 pounds per square inch for the uh, gun. This is how much pressure will be coming out going into the gun, okay? So what I'm gonna do, this is the on and off switch here. I have it off, right? I'm just gonna go on and unplug it because we don't really need any power going into the tank. So that's unplugged, okay? And I'll see if I can do this with one hand. And out, okay? I got that out, okay, put that in the ground, and now let's just release the pressure here first, so it'll go backwards, see, all the pressure that's supposed to go into the hose, into the gun, is going back to zero, okay, so uh, there's no pressure coming out of here now, okay, so that's done, okay, and now, the air that's in the tank has to come out. So let's hope I can turn, this. sometimes this is a little bit tight because of the pressure, but I reduced the pressure because of this right here, I reduced the pressure, okay? So uh, let's turn it. See here? Nice and slow. If you release the valve, if you release a valve too much, you, it makes a lot of noise. Uh, if you're not, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd just do it and just walk away and let it go. But anyway, all the air coming out. Okay. Okay. Also, once all the air is out, you have to tilt the tank like so. Okay, because over a period of time, over a period of time, moisture gets in here and it'll rust, okay? Uh, they don't make these, I don't think, they don't make them out of stainless steel. Uh, they kind of want it to rust because if it didn't rust, this will pretty well last you a lifetime. <laughs> as long as you oil and change the filter, you know? But anyways, uh, that's a little tip there, okay? So it's going. I'm not going to bore you by uh, letting you uh, listen to a tank uh, let its air out. So again, that was a demonstration of my uh, Husky uh, compressor and my uh, guns there. Uh, they've lasted me a long time. Uh, and um, so if this was uh, entertaining and if this was uh, informative, please uh, uh, like and subscribe to my channel there, Dave How To, and I'll bring you more uh, videos on how to do and also unbox um, items in the future. Thank you very much.